Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you, Geraldine? Why and you, teacher? I'm very well. Thank you so much for asking. What about the rest? How are you, Marjorie, Patricia, Jose, Ana Beatriz, Norma, Jennifer? How was your day? Uh, good, good. Was good? Okay. Thank you so much for being on time. Okay. So you are the first one. Okay, let me see. Let me share my screen. Did you finish the section number one and two? Yes, teacher. Okay, good. Can you see my screen? Yes. Okay, good. Okay. Good, we're ready to start. This is the class number four. The agenda for today. Well, today is, Mar is Thursday, March the 2nd, 2023. Okay. Um, sorry, I didn't, I didn't fix it. What was the presentation for yesterday? Well, the agenda for today, uh, we're going to we have the lesson objectives. Also, we are going to continue. Um, We're going to continue talking about illnesses. Do you remember yesterday we talked about illnesses or health problems, we can say? Health problems. Did you study, Geraldine? By yourself? Estudió usted solita? See, teacher. Okay, good. Okay, we're going to review again the health problems. We're going to have a conversation. And also we are going to have a reading at the end about uh, the topics that we have been studying. Okay. Uh, we're going to start now with this activity. Let me place it at this activity. Okay, there are some health problems that we saw yesterday, that we studied yesterday. And also we have new ones, okay? The ones that you don't know, I can help you with the meaning, okay? Uh, what is... According to the picture, what is that? She has? Mm -hmm. Toothache. Tooth, tooth edge, right? Okay. Um, will be this one. Okay. Okay. What about this one? A stomach. A stomach? Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, he has a stomach. Bad stomach. A sto he has a stomach or bad stomach. stomach. Okay. Or it could be that she has um diarrhea. That is the other one. You think oh. that is diarrhea? Diarrhea. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. What about this one? 
He has blue. Blue? He has blue. She has blue. He has blue. Okay. Huh? Please turn off. Turn off the microphone. Algunos que que tengan ruido en su casa, por por favor, off the microphone, please. Okay. Sorry. Aha. Uh -huh. What is this one? He has insomnia. Insomnia. Yes, insomnia. Okay. Good. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Welcome. Okay, what about this one? Mm -hmm. He has a? He, a burn. He has a burn. Okay, burn. Or sun. He has a sunburn. Sunburn. Uh -huh. sunburn. Porque está quemado por el sol. Okay. Okay. Now, yes, that will be. He has stomach. Stomach. Okay. Stomach. Or he has a bad stomach. Okay. Good. Mm -hmm. She has. This one is a carbon burn. Okay, es como una quemada, se le ve. She has a burn. Uh -huh. What about him? Throw of cough. Cough. Okay. He oh, has gold. Yeah. Gold. Me? Okay. Yes? Me? ¿Me escucha? Sí. Hola, hola. Sí, sí ah, claro. Okay. Hoy sí me sirve el micrófono. Ok. Ok, ya sabes. Lo siento. Es ok. Guys, please. Si tiene ruido en su casa. Turn off the microphone, ok? Solo si no tiene ningún ruido en su casa, manténgalo. ¿Me están escuchando? ¿Me están escuchando? Carlos Ramírez. Carlos, no me escucha. Carlos. Le estaba hablando desde a ratos. Trate de tener cerrado el micrófono si usted no está ahí, ¿ok? Porque si no, estamos escuchando toda la conversación. Y nos hace interferencia. Gracias. Ok. What about this one? She has a fever. No, she has a fever. A fever, fever. Fever or? And temperature. Temperature. Ok. Temperature. Good. Uh -huh. he, has, he, has, he has a headache. 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 Okay, good. Mm -hmm. She has her shoulder hurt. hurt. Her shoulder hurts. Okay. What about him? His knee hurts. Hurt. Okay, knee hurts. Okay. Mm -hmm. She has a short throat. She has a earache. 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 Okay. Earache. Okay. Good. He has a cold. A cold. He has, he has cold. a cold. Uh 
she has a short throat. Short throat. Short throat. Okay. Dry. And he has. He has the back. He has the back. Okay. Back. Very good. Very good. Okay. Okay, we have 16 from 16. Very good. Well, um, did you learn new vocabulary about illnesses, or health problems, or did you know all of them? It, they are easy, right? They are not difficult. Okay. Okay, good. Now, I want that... Um, you have a conversation with someone from, from the class. For example, I need two volunteers. This is just an example, okay? You can ask more questions to your classmate. It, say, it says, how do you feel today, Geraldine? Okay, she can answer, I feel fine, sense. What about you, Edith? I feel terrible. You can change this. Adjective, lo pueden cambiar por otro, okay? I have a stomach ache. Pueden decir otra, 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 otro problema que no sea este. I'm sorry to hear that. Estas son las expresiones. We can use these expressions. That's good. I'm glad to hear that. That's too bad. I'm sorry to hear that. So, here you can change the expression. This one can be changed for the others that we have there. Okay. Uh, another way that you can ask someone, do you have headache or do you have a uh, stomach ache? No, I don't. Okay. Do you have a earache? earache? Yes, that's, that's right. Um, or no, like in this case, it could be yes, I do, right? Because it is, it is, it says, do you have? Yes, I do. Okay. Okay. Who wants to be a volunteer to have a conversation? You can you can change the the the, the words and the expression in that conversation. Who will be the first volunteer? Uh huh. Okay, I have Geraldine. Okay, who wants to do it with Geraldine? Okay. Good evening, Miss. Good evening, Ana Maricela. Okay, Francisco Valdomar, do you want to, to practice with Geraldine? Okay, go ahead. Okay. How do you feel today, Francisco? I feel fine, thanks. What about you? I feel tired. I have a... A health, health pain, health pain. Headache. Health pain. Head, you can say head pain or headache, okay? Health, health. Headache, headache. Health. Mm -hmm. I am sorry to hear that. Okay, very good. You can change this expression. You can, you can change, for example, that's too bad, okay. Okay, very good. Thank you, Jardine and, and Francisco. Okay, who else wants to participate? Okay. Marjorie, do you want to participate? Okay, oh. eh, solamente, sí, solamente que eh, no entiendo. Entendí qué parte es lo que tenía que cambiar. Es lo que está de... en amarillo, vamos a cambiar. 
Eso lo voy a decir ya como mío. Correcto. Lo que está en amarillo, por ejemplo, aquí el nombre cambia. Se va a decir el nombre de la otra persona. La otra persona le va a preguntar a, a usted cómo está. Aquí eh, va a cambiar este adjetivo y el health problem that you have aquí. Y puede cambiar esta expresión, esta última. Ok. Ok. Eh, solamente aquí, perdón, eh, donde dice I feel, ahí tengo que cambiar la palabra, eh, yes. no sé cómo se pronuncia. Uh, terrible, you can change, usted puede decir I feel good, I, I feel, feel good. fine, or I, I feel tired, dijo Geraldine. Uh, okay. Different adjectives that you know, ¿ok? Puede cambiarlo por diferente que usted se, que usted conozca. Ok. Ok, go ahead. You will participate with Luis. Miguel. Ok. Uh, okay. How do you feel today, Luis? I feel fine. Uh, perdón, perdón. La primera es, ¿verdad? La que vamos a... Pueden, pueden ser ambos, ¿ok? Aquí hay dos opciones. Puede ser esta, esta conversation o this one, ¿okay? ¿ok? Ok, ok. Empecemos de nuevo, perdón. Ok. How do you feel today, Luis? I feel fine, thank you. Uh, what about you? Uh, Marjorie. Marjorie? I, I feel good. I have a... No, no sé qué poner ahí. Homesick. Uh, si, usted dice, si usted dice que se siente, uh, aquí tiene que ser negativo. Ajá, tiene que ser. Si un... es positivo, Ay, no continúo. Si es positivo, no, solo diga I feel good. I feel good. Ajá, y él le va a decir, ah, oh, I'm glad to hear that. Ok. Ok. Puede cambiar, aquí, aquí hay dos, perdón, aquí hay dos positivas y dos negativas, ok? That's good, That's or I'm good. glad to hear that, es también positiva. Si okay. su compañero le dice que se siente good, pues va a decir una expresión positiva. Ajá. Uh -huh. okay. ok, good, go ahead. Desde el inicio? Yes. Okay. ok, how do you feel today, Luis? I feel fine, thanks. What do you... What about you, uh, Marjorie? I feel good. Uh, that's great. Okay. That's good. <laughs> Pardon. Okay. Well, that is great. It's okay. Very that's good. Great. Thank you, Luis and Marjorie. Okay. okay. Sandra, who, who else wants to participate with Sandra? Mm-hmm. Okay, um, Catherine, Andrea, you, you will participate with Sandra, Elizabeth. Go ahead, Sandra. How do you feel today, Catherine? I feel fine, thanks. What about you, um, Sandra? I feel terrible. Oh, I feel bad. I'm sorry to hear that. Okay, very good. Good. Okay, I have Norma Leticia. Who else? Quien más quiere participar con Norma? Maria, ah, okay. Norma Leticia and Ana Maricela. Okay, go ahead. Okay. How do you feel today? Ana Marisela. I feel fine, thanks. What about you, Norma? I feel um, good. Ah, that's great. Okay, very good. Thank, Thank you. you. Good, okay. 
That are the expressions that you are going to use. Okay, that's good. I'm glad to hear that. If that is positive, if that is negative, you can say that's too bad. I'm sorry to hear that. Okay, <clears throat> good. We're going to continue. So do you remember you have an extra exercise in the platform about these pictures? Did you complete it? Lo yes. 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 Okay, that will be yes. easy for you. I'm going to play the audio. Voy a poner el audio. And you are going to tell me why the correct answer is there. Okay. Okay, just a moment. Okay, it's not working, but let me let me open that again. Page eighty, exercise four. Did you? Can you listen that? Do you? Yes. Yes, I do. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yes. okay let's go. Listening. I have a headache. Part A. Listen to the conversations. Where do these people hurt? Write down the parts of the body. One. I think I'm gonna go home early. I don't feel well. What's the matter, Ben? I think I have a cold. I have a headache and I have a sore throat. Oh, that's too bad. Feel better. Two. Oh, my gosh, are you okay, Allison? Uh, not really. My back and my elbow feel terrible. Ouch. Can you stand up? I think so. Yeah, thanks for your help. Three. Here, have some ice cream, Jeffrey. Oh, I love ice cream, but I can't eat any cold food. Why not? I have a really bad toothache. Oh, I'm sorry. Four. Oh. What's wrong? I have really sore eyes, and my wrists are sore too. Well, take a break, Marta. Finish typing your homework later. Okay, very good. What about number one? What is the matter? Mm -hmm. He works early. He's bad. He has had a throat. Okay, he has headache. And also he has sore throat, right? Okay, good. What about Allison? What happens to Allison? Back, elbow. Oh, um, back. Okay. Back. Okay. She, she, she has a back. Back. Elbow. Okay. And what does mean dolor? How do you say dolor? Pain. Pain. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. The problem was backache and she hurt her elbow. Elbow. Okay. Good. What about uh, Je Jeffrey? Why he cannot eat the ice cream? Two. Two, 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 two,
Siempre la H va a ser muda. In this case, the pronunciation will be toothache. To toothache. 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 En todas las, las uh, los, pro, los health problems that, que se escriben así, con, con la, bueno, con esa terminación, no pronunciamos la H al final. Ok, okay Jadine. Ok. What about Mar Martha? What happens to her? She, She hurts and I so rise. Ok. Problem with the wrist right and with the eyes ok good en la plataforma para que les salgan bien ustedes tienen que seleccionar dos en algunas es solo uno pero en otras son dos porque si no bueno de hecho solo en una en la, en la número tres the conversation number three about Jeffrey it is just one the, the first one ok And at the bus on those. Do you have questions about that? No. 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 Okay, very good. Okay, we're going to continue. What medication do you have at home? Mm -hmm. Aspirin. Aspirin, uh -huh. uh, Ibuprofen. Okay. Uh, Muscle. Aspirin. Okay, aspirin. Uh -huh. Okay. That is, okay. That is the medical art that you have, right? So, what are these medic medications for? It's the one that you can see there. Muscocorin. Mm -hmm. For the most, okay, most muscle screen, muscle screen. Okay, we have aspirin, cough drop. Cold pills, okay, uh, antacid, and we have cold cider, cider. Mm -hmm. sherry cold cider, okay, that is from the same uh, lab. Okay, what are these medication for? For example, if I take this cough drops what is the health problems that i have Para la tos. that will be for go serious go serious okay try to say it in english try to say it in english that will be for so true okay For the throat, throat, okay. If I have a headache, what kind of medication I, I have to uh, take? A uh -huh, aspirin. 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 Okay. If I have um, cold, what would be the medication? Cold drop. Cold serious. Cold serious. Okay. okay. If I got the flu, if I had flu, four pills, um, that's four pills and aspirin. Okay. Cold pills. Okay, cold pills and aspirin. Okay, good. If I have a uh, uh, shoulder hurt, muscle cream. Muscle cream. Muscle cream. Okay, the muscle cream. Good. Very good. If I, ha I if I have uh... mm -mm -mm, let me let me go back.
If I had diarrhea, do, do I have medication here? And taxi. Um, yes. And taxi. And taxi. Okay. Okay. If I have problems in my eyes. And Joe. I drop. I drop. I drop. I drop. I drop. I drop. Okay. Very good. Okay. So it is important that you have all this medication in your house, right? Because you, uh, if you have an emergency, you can use that. Marital aid. Sorry. <clears throat> okay. Now we are going to practice how to how to give advices to someone else that that need medication or that have a health problem. Okay, so how we are going to practice that? We are going to use the imperatives. So that means that you are going to. Le van a decir directamente como una expresión. Okay. ¿Qué debes hacer? Eh, for example, here, take a pill every four hours. Okay. Rest in bed. Drink a lot of juice. Don't work, Don't too, work hard. too hard. Don't stay up late. Don't drink soda. Drink soda. Okay. Son, eh, son pequeñas expresiones que ustedes pueden decir como forma de advice. Okay. Advice means consejo. Okay, uh, we're going to complete the sentences here using the correct form of the word that we have here. For example, we have call, listen, see, take, no go, don't worry, no drink, no eat. Okay, we have these verbs that we can use to uh, give advices to someone else, okay? Uh, for example, if you have a uh, pain, um, for example, if you have, if you need to, if you have headache, so any problem, any, any health problem that you may have, so you can give these advices, okay? Using the imperative imperatives for example number one we have call a dentist don't worry too much okay what about number three which take two aspirin. Aspirin. Take take aspirin. aspirin okay Okay, take two aspirins. What about number four? Not no, go, no, go, not to, go school. to school. Okay, no go to school. Number five. Listen to it's relaxing safe. music. Listen to relaxing music. Okay, listen. That can help. Listen to relaxing music. Okay, number six. See a See doctor. A doctor. See a doctor. Number seven. No drink coffee. No no drink drink coffee. coffee. Okay, no drink no. coffee. Number eight. No, no eat any kind of mm -hmm. No eat any, no, any candy. Okay. Very good. Very good. Um Okay, Geraldine, tell me one health problem that you may have. Dígame un problema de salud que usted tenga y uh, your classmates are going to give you some advice here. I have a cold flu. Okay, she has cold, cold and flu. Okay, what are the advices that you are going to give uh, Geraldine? 
Ajá. I recommend call a doctor. Call a doctor. Okay. What else? The flu dijo. Mm -hmm. She had cold and flu. Um, I recommend them call serious. And the flu taxi. Taxi, take pills, okay, medicines like taxi, she said. Okay. Good. What else? Who else can advise uh, Geraldine? Otro, otro advice that you, you, you can give her? Mm -hmm. uh, some hot tea or tea home hot sorry uh, te caliente okay take uh Tea. Some tea, hot, some, no, some hot tea. Okay, yes, hot tea, okay. With honey. With honey, okay. What else? And, le and lemon. And lemon, lemon juice. Lemon juice. Okay, good. <laughs> what else? And take, take two aspirin and not go to work. Okay. Okay, rest in the bed. Okay, good. Okay, Geraldine, you have there the advices? Okay. Yes, teacher. Okay. <laughs> Very good. The recommend. The recommendations. Recommendations. Okay. okay, what about Ana Marcela? Tell me one health problem that you that you may have. I have how do you say insomnia? Yeah, insomnia. I have insomnia. Okay. I need many recommendations. Okay. Uh huh. What are the recommendations uh, that, that you are going to give her? Don't drink coffee. Don't, Don't no drink coffee. No drink soda. Okay, no coffee, no soda. Uh huh. Read a book. Okay, read a book. And listen to relaxing music. Okay, very good. Listen to relaxing music. Don't worry too much. Uh huh, don't worry too much. Okay, very good. What else? Uh huh, Sandra? What else you are going to recommend? Insomnia. For the insomnia, sorry. At the end is like A, okay? Insomnia. Insomnia. What else you can recommend for that? And take a shower and try to relax. Okay, take a shower before go to the bed. Uh-huh. No eat any candy. No eat candies, uh-huh. I don't no, watch no. the phone. Okay. No drink coffee. Don't drink coffee. Don't drink soda. Okay. Don't eat candies. So you have a lot of recommendations, Anna. <laughs> you can, Thank you, you for can, that. You okay. can take you can take a uh, Valeriana. Okay. <laughs> okay, very good. Uh Sandra, tell me one one uh, health problem that you may have. I have um allergy in the skin. Oh, allergy. Okay. What are the recommendations that you have for her with the allergy? 
I recommend buy um, yeah, Calamina in a drugstore. Okay. Call the doctor. You need to take to Loratadina. Okay. That is another kind of pill that she can take. Okay. Maybe you can take a shower before go to the bed. Or when you have the allergy, what else? Mm -hmm. Another Vita advice? Vitamin D. Okay, you can you can take a. Uh, Vitamin D, okay. Very good. Okay, who else? Okay, Loretudin is, is good. You can say that there are a lot of uh, another pills that are for the allergy. Okay. If I, let me see another problem that I can have. Um, from here. Okay, if I have sun, sunburn, what are the recommendations that you can give me? Mm -hmm. No, you don't have any. Eh, no, no, no sé qué es eso. Me puede ayudar. Sunburn is like a quemadura del sol. Eh. Mm -hmm. I usually eh, put eh, yogur. Yogur griego. Mm -hmm. Okay, yogur. Okay, very good. That it could be one recommendation. Okay, good. We are going to move on now to the next conversation in order you can practice. Who wants to practice? Do you want to listen to that pronunciation? Yes. Let me let me play that that um hi everyone, which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation title Don't Work Too Hard. Let's listen and practice. Don't work too hard. Hello, Ms. West. How are you today? Not so good. So what's wrong exactly? I'm exhausted. Hmm. Why are you so tired? I don't know. I just can't sleep at night. Okay, let's take a look at you. I'm going to give you some pills. Take one pill every night after dinner. Okay. And don't drink coffee, tea, or soda. Anything else? Yes. Don't work too hard. All right. Thanks, Dr. Young. The conversation. Okay, very good. Who wants to practice? Ah, huh, volunteers. Okay, Ah, Geraldine. Who else? And Norma and Luis. Okay, let me see the chat. <laughs> okay, they are using the she is giving recommendations here. Okay, exhausted. Okay, I am exhausted. Okay, that is the pronunciation of that adjective. Okay, first we'll practice Geraldine and Luis. Go ahead. Hello, Miss West. How are you today? Uh, 
Sorry. Not so good. So what's wrong exactly? I'm exhausted. Um, why are you so tired? I don't know. I just can't sleep at night. Okay, let's say a look at you. I am going to give you some pills. Say one pill every night after dinner. Okay. And don't drink coffee, tea, or soda. Anything else? Yeah. Hola. I guess she has problems with the with the microphone or the internet. Yes, don't work too hard. All right, thanks, Mr. Dr. Young. Okay, very good. Thank you. Now we'll practice Marjorie and Norma. Go ahead. Okay. Hello, Miss West. How are you today? Not, not so so good. So what's wrong exactly? I am accepted. Mm, why are you so, you so tired? I don't know. I just can sleep at night. Okay, let's take a look at you. Uh, I, I am going Oh, see, see, see. Doctor, okay, I'm, I'm going to guide you some fields. They want one field every night after dinner. Okay. And don't drink coffee, tea, or soda. Any, any, anything also? A anything else? Anything else? Yes, don't work too hard. All right, thanks, your doctor Jung. Jung, okay. Jung, okay. Ah, uh, okay. I'm going to give you give. Okay. Give. Give. Marjorie, give. I'm going to give you some pills. Say one pill every night after dinner. Okay. <laughs> Exhausted. Okay, good. Yes, very good. Let me see who else will participate. Uh, okay, Ingrid Magdalena wants to participate, and I want normally said Crespin. Okay. Hello, Miss West. How are you today? Norma? Normally said Crespi. Are you there, Norma? Okay, the ones that don't participate. Uh, Moises, are you there, Moises, Giovanni? Yes. Okay, you can participate with uh, Ingrid. Go ahead. Okay. okay. Hello, Miss West. How are you today? Not so good. So, what's wrong exactly? I am exhausted. Mm. Why are you so tired? I don't know. I just can't sleep at night. Okay, let's take a look at you. I'm going to give you some pills. Take one pill every night after dinner. Okay. And, non, and don't drink coffee, tea, or soda. Anything else? Yes, don't work too hard. All right. Thanks, Dr. Young. Okay, that was good. Very good. Okay. We're going to continue with the next activity because of the time. But yes, you're doing a good job here. Okay. Write two pieces of advice for each problem. Use the sentences studied before. Okay, do you remember the one that we studied before? 
the ones that we studied here. Um, these ones, okay? Don't worry too much. Call a, a dentist, call the doctor, uh, rest in the bed, okay? Take a pill every four hours. Um, don't drink soda, don't drink coffee, take aspirins, listen to a relaxing music, see a doctor, don't drink coffee, okay, do not eat any candy, all, all that kind of advices and more that you may have, try to use them here. What, okay, he has, uh, he have, or he has, okay, because he says I have, he have a tooth, toothache, okay? She has a headache and he has a, he have the flu. What are the advices you are going to, you are going to give them? Mm -hmm. He call a dentist. Okay, call a dentist. That is the first one. Okay. Yes. The to see a doctor. See a doctor number two. Uh huh. Number three. Take two aspirins. Take two aspirins. Uh huh. Number four. Don't drink coffee. Don't drink coffee. Okay. Good. Very good. Who else wants to participate given given them advices? Ana Patricia, well, what will be your advices? Ana Pat uh, perdón, Patricia Lisette. Mm -hmm. For headache, flu, insomnia, and toothache, what will be the advices? Es que se me fue el internet, no escuché lo anteriormente, me acabo de volver a conectar. Okay, we are going to give advices to people that have health problem. Le vamos a dar consejos a personas que tengan, que tengan algún problema, ¿ok? Algún, uh, alguna enfermedad o un problema de salud. Ok, we have four here. Ok, tengo cuatro problemas. Uh, yo, creo, yo quiero que usted me dé uno o dos consejos para, para ellos. Usted dígame para quién. Ale. I have a headache. I see a doctor. Um, take two. Two aspirin. Two aspirin. Okay. Two. Two or four. Four. Okay. Good. Thank you, Patricia. What about uh the number four? Okay, uh, Adriana Araceli. I hear me. Yes, I can hear you. Me um, puede repetir por favor es que estoy en medio de una clase también de la universidad. <laughs> okay. Okay, what will be the advices that you can give him because he has insomnia? Uh, uh, I can sleep at night. Mm -hmm. What that is a problem that he has. But what will be your advices? Uh, uh, ya se me olvidó cómo decir insomnia. <laughs> yes. But it's okay. It's it is insomnia, okay. Uh, but insomnia. I want I, I want that you provide the advices. What we can do if we have that problem? Uh, insomnia. Uh -huh. ¿Qué podemos hacer si tenemos ese problema? ¿Cuáles serían sus consejos? En inglés, uh, en inglés lo tengo que decir, ¿verdad? Of course. 
Este. Mmm, déjame ver cómo hay que. Okay, we saw that before, remember? We, we, we saw the, the kind of advices that you can provide. Um, creo que sería the, the drink, drink a uh, milk, um, a pill. Drink a pill to sleep. What else? Pill, creo que sería pastilla. Mm -hmm. Creo, creo what, yo, creo. What else? <laughs> Uh, um, um, no sabría qué más decirle porque eso a mí me funciona a mí no, no he tenido otro ok it's ok who else uh, wants to provide advice for insomnia insomnia mm -hmm. pero mira me casi no le escucho rápidamente it's ok Thank you it's so okay. much. Thank you. Okay, guys, because of the time, we're going to stop here. Uh, let me just take the attendance for today. And you remember that you have to complete the platform uh, for today at midnight. If you haven't completed all the exercises, you have to do it today. Okay. Okay. Anna, okay. Adriana Araceli. Here, I hear me. Okay, Ana Beatriz. Depende de ti, He estado así como le he oyente porque estoy con un poco de migraña. It's okay. Ana Maricela. Present. Okay, Andrea Eugenia. Present, teacher. Okay, Azucena. Present. Francisco Valdomar. Present, teacher. Geraldine. Sí la veo, Geraldine, pero quizás te, te problemas de audio. Okay. Yes, thank you. Uh, Ingrid Magdalena. I'm here. Uh, Jennifer Vanessa. Present. Okay, Jenny Elizabeth. Present. Jose Alejandro Valladares. Present. Juan Carlos Ramírez. Present. Okay, Catherine Andrea. Present teacher. Lilian Eunice. Present teacher. Lourdes uh, Maria. Lourdes. Um, okay, uh, Luis Miguel. Present teacher. Maria Santos. Present teacher. Marjorie. Present teacher. Moises. Present teacher. Norma Lisette Crespin. Norma. She's in the okay. chat. Okay. Patricia Lisette. Present. Patricia Sarai. Sarai. Okay, uh, Reina Isabel. Reina Isabel. Sandra Elizabeth. Present teacher. Stephanie Carolina. Present teacher. Okay, Sarai está ahí. Okay, thank you. Okay, guys. Um, Recuerden que quizás no me puso asistencia. Reina Isabel. Ok, you are here. Ok, thank you. Sea un poco difícil para que todos participen, pero si ustedes ponen de su parte en participar, ok, en estar como más eh, uh, poniendo atención en la clase, ustedes 
eh, pueden entender un poco mejor si ustedes estudian también por sí solos, ¿ok? Porque no, no, no está todo en la clase, ¿ok? No es la clave solo asistir a clase y ya, sino que ustedes tienen que estudiar por sí solos. Ustedes tienen eh, la plataforma, tienen muchas herramientas en YouTube, usted puede buscar eh, más información del tema que se está viendo. Usted puede mejorar, ¿ok? Por sí solo. Eh, de mucha, hay muchas formas. Busque la mejor estrategia que usted sienta que, que le conviene, que usted ap aprende. Y así no le va a costar mucho, ¿ok? A todas las skills como listening, ¿ok? Lectura, speaking. Todas las skills hay que practicarlas, ¿ok? Para que ustedes vayan viendo cómo ustedes van aprendiendo. Evalúense ustedes solos, ¿ok? Es muy importante si ustedes están conscientes de su aprendizaje. Uh, well, that, that will be everything for today. See you on Monday, ¿ok? Have a, a good uh, weekend and study, ¿ok? See you on Monday. Take care. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Thank you. Bye, teacher. Good night. Good night. Bye, bye. Take care. Bye, bye. Good night. Happy weekend. Good night. Nice weekend.